Hotep Aquarius. Welcome to your bonus Love is the Best reading for the month of October 2021. Okay, so, baby, it looks like the end of a tough cycle approaches, Aqua. And it is about time for this cycle to end. This is a full moon in Capricorn, okay? So it's like you're dealing with people who you thought was the fish, but wasn't the fish. They were the goat. You thought they were the goat, but wasn't the goat. They were the fish, okay? You thought this person was for you, but they were just not for you. These cycles of people who are just not meant for you coming are coming to an end love there is no more of this whole uh you know dealing with somebody who's dealing with somebody else but lying to you about it okay now love when that cycle comes to an end this will happen automatically okay automatically is saying a fiery climax approaches full moon and aries okay so it's like sam you're dealing with a very passionate fiery element and it's like this person is trying to have a fiery climax with you okay this person is trying to make you come to the ultimate okay that is what's happening here it's also a climax between two people just coming together and beginning to be lovers aqua so this is like going to happen this tough cycle going to end and as soon as it ends or right when it ends boom a fiery climax approaches now love the reason why this tough cycle is ending is because nothing is yet set in stone aqua it's all mutable baby it's all changeable you know the universal law we know the universal law is change right so it's like okay when you're in these type of situations or when we because i'm also an aquarius when we are in these type of situations we just have to remember every time that this is just a cycle and knowing that it is just a cycle gives us the ability to detach, to not put so much into it. Because if somebody is going to be given to us, then we need to, uh, you know, be given to in a manner that is properly. Not somebody just giving us their love or their affection or whatever it is that they want to give us in a manner that they want to give it to us. Okay, but meanwhile, got somebody else on the side who they're giving it to in a proper manner, in a manner that it should have been given to you, Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, baby, here's the Casanova Terror. That's who we were dealing with, a bunch of daggone Casanovas. People who always had somebody else and tried to make us feel like we were crazy when we knew that already. <laughs> we knew it already, Aqua. You can can't uh you know trick one of us come on we already knew we just we can sense it we had the universe speaking to us the ancestors speaking to us the deities speaking to us like this person is only looking for a certain thing love but it's like we'd be ignoring that thought but as many times as we go into this whole cycle with all uh, types of new lunatics and psychopaths that's when we start to acknowledge okay yes we have to listen to that intuition baby <laughs> Let's go ahead and get to that end of tough cycle approaching love. This is you as the empress, okay? People always taking your clothes off, getting to the nipples and the and the kitty and the booty and the wand because this is also the emperor, okay? You sit there, you look so daggone delicious to these people, Aquarius. They just see you and they see somebody who they want to just devour completely okay now love here is the uh moon here the moon is telling me that these people also kept secrets they made you think that they were they made you think that they were like romantically interested in you and maybe they were to a certain degree but there was somebody else who captured these people's hearts already and they were with you for another reason now aqua this is also saying with the end of a uh, cycle approaching that baby you are about to be devoured by someone who has very strong romantic feelings for you and they have been keeping these feelings for you in the dark hidden you know what i'm saying they haven't been letting you know how they've been feeling okay so it's like okay here we got the fiery climax approaching with this person all right, Aqua, we got the uh, knight, I mean, the, the knight, the knight of wands, baby. 
the Knight of Wands coming in. Now, the Knight of Wands coming in with all types of things in their hands. So, they got uh, the wand. Oh, I thought that was flowers over there, but they got the wand in their hand, baby. This person who is coming towards you, this fire element, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It could be any other signs with the, uh, the Empress here. But it looks like this person is trying to make the move with you, like, you know, very passionately move in with you or, you know what I'm saying, be a mate to you or utilize that wand, don't you? Like, so whenever this other person who leaves you, this person is going to be riding right on in, Aqua. They're probably going to be asking your person, uh, do you know uh, their address to you? <laughs> Or do they know they're addressed to you? Because they're riding around looking for your house. Okay? Mm. Aqua. Nothing is yet set in stone, baby. Here is the, uh, the knave of uh, wands right here. These people were just watching you, Aquarius. They were stalking you. They were creeping up on you. They did not let anybody else come near you okay but that was not set in stone because the universe the deities the ancestors had something for them daggone people who were stalking you acting like you couldn't move anywhere or go anywhere or be with anyone but these people no baby those people have to be removed so if you had anybody who was just abruptly removed out of your life i know it had to be multiple people the universe did that aqua Let's talk about who these people are, baby. Okay. Let's go and get into the Barbary Zodiac Oracle. Talk about who the heck these people are that had to be removed from your life. Who was watching you, stalking you, creeping up on you. You know, where you did not see them because they was in some type of moon energy. And you were just too busy being the empress to notice. Now, who are we talking about, Aqua? <laughs> Love, we got... Um, Venus right here. This is the god and goddess of love. Okay. Now that's a Taurus right there. Somebody who has been, uh, you know, just stalking you. Now this person could have been stalking you because they have all types of romantic feelings for you and they just want to devour you because when they see you, the only thing, the only thing they can see is the kitty and the, and the nipples right here, love. Okay. And they just um, fell in love with it. They just um, fell in love with it. Here is a Neptune right here. That's a Pisces. Yeah, so Pisces was certainly keeping it hidden while they hid in their own little world and escaped the pressure of telling you how they felt. Here is a Jupiter. So you got a Sagittarius? Mm. Sagay holding in how they feel but walking after you, making you feel like, you know, you were not worthy of a relationship with them. Or that a relationship with them, you should be getting down on your knees and thanking your maker for being in that relationship. When all actuality, love, you Aquarius, you the daggone star here. You the one that was pouring all types of things onto these people. Or to this person who wants you to, you know what I'm saying, act like you should be grateful that they're in your life. Now, yeah, you should be grateful that you have anybody in your life that's willing to help you to become a better version of yourself. But then you have to ask was this person, was that, or was this person, you know, bringing out the worst parts of you, love? We got Saturn right here. This is a karmic relationship that you were in. Capricorn and another Aquarius. So, love, using a karmic relationship with another Aqua, I don't know what else was in that chart. Okay, but <laughs> there ain't no way in the world uh, Aquarius should be doing this to another Aquarius. Here's Pluto. Scorpio right here. So you was in, you was stuck with the Scorpio, unable to move. And, and like, you know, the Scorpio just seen you as somebody who they just want to devour, baby. Here we go, Cancer. Now, Cancer, now any, any of these people could be people who are trying to come in, who has been watching you in the dark too, Aquarius. Something that a Cancer will be doing. A Cancer will watch you smack dead in the dark. You will never know that this person is uh, creeping up on you until they show up. Okay, when they show up, that's when you know that cancer is on the scene. Here we got Aries right here. Aries, somebody very passionate or wanting a new passionate beginning with you. Now, these people, yeah, they've been stalking you. They have, a, you know, all types of romantic feelings for you, just imagining what the nipples will taste like in their mouth again. You know what I'm saying? What the kitty will, will feel like, you know. They just, uh... Got the Knight of Wands coming in. As a matter of fact, the Knave. The Knave of Swords. The Knave of Swords. Let's see what these people are talking about. Okay. 
the source is communication. Somebody wants the booty back, Aqua. They want the booty back, baby. They've been watching, stalking, creeping, you know, all these type of things because the booty. And they want you to call them too, Aquarius. Like, call me. Call me, okay? <clears throat> okay. Don't lie to me. They don't want you to lie to them. They just want you to call them and answer this question. If you love me, then why can't we make love over and over again? Or why can't I make love to you over and over if you love me? There is no point in pretending to be afraid of me making love to you over and over, Aqua. This is the person talking to you. They say, listen here, Aquarius, if you love me, then why can't I make love to you? Now here we got uh, the thought of someone else touching, kissing, or in you. It's too much for me. It's too much for them to bear somebody else, you know, uh, touching and, and kissing and all that. You know what I'm saying? There's no point in this person being afraid or pretending to be afraid of speaking up, baby. They're hiding in the dark with the moon energy, but they're going to come out of that. Here we got, don't ever take my love for granted. It's like that's what they did, didn't they, Aqua? Making you feel like you were second best. Making you feel like you were the other option. Making you feel like you were an option. How dare they? How dare they make you feel like you're an option, Aquarius? And then when you leave this person's life, this is what they're talking about. Uh, every day you're not here. My eyes are soaking wet with tears. Whoa. Woo. That scared me. Okay. I'm not blind. I know all they want to do is take you from me. Okay? So, yeah. So they know what, 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 aqua. So they're going to make you feel like you're an option and all types of S, all types of ish, <laughs> like that. But they're going to say they know others is trying to take you from them, baby. <laughs> If Aqua was made to feel like they were an option, certainly we would not uh, allow ourselves to actually be an option. Like, dude, did you think that Aqua was not going to have their uh, options open, okay? And that you were somebody who was in their life who, you know, should have been more privileged to even have an Aquarius. Uh, in your corner, Aquarius, to conversate with Aquarius to come and see and do all types of freaking things with the booty and the, the kitty and whatnot. Now, here we got, um, do you want me like I want you? Mm. Are you still in love with me? Who? See, Aquarius just cut it off. Did, did you go stone cold on a person, Aqua? So people thought they can do the, 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 the swords, baby. Now, yeah, anybody can pick up to utilize the swords, but can't nobody pick it up and utilize it better than the one who wields it. Like the one who designs it, creates it. That's an Aquarius. Baby, please come back home. Are you still in love with me, baby? Please come back home. Look at this person. But they made you feel like, mm, I'm addicted to you. Mm, mm, mm. And they knew what they were doing, Aquarius. So don't let this person say, oh, I didn't even know that you were feeling that way. Because they did, baby. Now they don't want to give up on y'all. Before, when you were saying us or we, they were saying it's only me and I, right? So now you walk away from this person. I don't want to give up on us. Come a little closer to me, Aqua. Aquarius got somebody else uh, coming at them. As a matter of fact, this person's already there while this person is trying to talk about you coming back. That's the reason why they're confused and dazed. Because they thought the universe was going to allow them to keep having Aquarius as an option. Come a little closer to me. This is what you are saying in response to that uh, blank. You don't have anything to say at all, baby. I mean, you just ain't got nothing to say. Talking about, this person talking about, it's no secret you want me. Now, it's no secret Aqua wanted, past tense, wanted you, baby. Yeah. Now, don't stay out all night just to punish me. <laughs> Aqua is not staying out all night. Aqua is staying out, period. Okay, period, dot, dash, dash, baby. Now, here we got, uh, I can't face another day alone. 
Well, that sounds like a personal problem because Aquarius was born a loner. That's what you should have uh, acknowledged before you decided to make Aquarius feel like they were an option. Now the universe got options for Aquarius. I'm thinking while this person is thinking about being in bed with you right now, love. You have many people going to be thinking about being in bed with you, Aqua. Yeah, baby, in bed with you, baby. That's right. And they're all going to tell you, too. Let me go ahead and get these messages done. All right. Here we go, Aqua. Let me love you. Many people can be coming to you, imagining you in bed with them, asking you, can they love you? Can they have you? Okay, while well, this person's screaming and hollering about missing you, wanting you back. Here we got this other person talking about baby, the new person, coming in with a wand. Take off your panties and come here. And Aqua. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, but I want you now. That's what you're going to be saying, baby. Somebody's going to tell you to go and take your panties off and get your behind in there. Okay, get the wand, the kitty, the booty right in the room, Aqua. And what you're going to do is like, I don't know what's come over me, but yeah, I got to have you. I got to have you. The energy is unreal, Aqua. That's what you have to realize, that the energy has to be real. Like, you have to really be feeling them energetically. It's like sexually, mentally, all that. You, everything got to connect. But especially that sexual part, Aqua. That has to connect because Aquarius is love. We do love to make love. We do love sex, okay? So it's like that's not a bad thing for us to be satisfied there first before we give our hearts over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Aqua? Not a lot of people believe in that or accept that. They feel they got to give their heart before they give the booty, the kitty, the wand. But nah, baby. The heart is worth more than the kitty, the booty, and the wand. <laughs> Aqua! <laughs> Love, this has been your message. If it resonated with you, then go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifier so no one will be uploading new messages for you, Aquarius. And if it didn't resonate, then don't you worry about it because I'm just going to get you in a day or two, okay? Because I'm about to start over again, all right? <laughs> and you know I'm starting with Aquarius. Anyway, love, uh, if you need a personal reading or a... Uh, um, if you want to donate to my channel, the way to do all that will be in the description box below how to contact me, okay? All right, my darling. Well, I said that I must bid you farewell. <laughs> Aqua, peace, love you, and light. How's that?